Hello and welcome, I'm JD, and in this game we are going to play Garnet Squadron, one of the starter fleet squadrons for the OSP. Now this is my first OSP game. Um, the teams are a little bit stacked with uh, Beef and Blacklight on this team. They've been playing for a while and so is Aqua. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't skew the results uh, for Garnet Squadron too much, but uh, considering that this is my first run through with this one, um, hopefully I do okay. Alrighty, so where are we going? I have no idea what I should be doing with this one. I think this is my early warning. I think we'll put it here. And uh, that's black light. I'm not sure which one's beef, but I think for now we'll just we'll throw the rest of my ships here. And that way we can determine which way we want to go. Because it looks like it's sort of evenly stacked and uh, that's good. They'll give us options. We've got the plasma and the T-30s, the 100mm uh, cannons on these ships. Okay, let's have a look at number five. So this is the early warning radar, and then we also have the bloodhound. So uh, we're just going to bring them up and above. So I was talking about in, uh, one of the starter fleet videos, exactly where you want to uh, broadcast. So I sort of want to broadcast all the way through in here. Um, I want to put the early warning radar like that. Now, as they turn around, this big early warning uh, will help us find where we want to go, and then we'll use the smaller or tighter bloodhound in order to... Um, what do you call it? In order to actually uh, pinpoint our targets, because uh, we're not going to have as much degree of we won't have any bullseyes here so garnet squadron uh four ships effectively the same uh, they all do, they do have slightly different point defense but they um all have t30s which have uh, hehc and he shells and then we've also got the plasma ampules uh, as well now the hehc i think does less penetration more explosives as opposed to normal he so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I don't want to do anything particularly at this point. Oh no. Waiting orders. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye, forming up. Quiet. Commands on the line. Waiting orders. Aye, aye, on the way. At the ready, Commander. Um, and we're going to bring our the enemy secured zone you, so what have we got um oh another garnet one okay maybe we go this way uh what does our team have so down below uh, i think somehow we've managed to all bring something very very similar Okay. We are securing zone atlas. Tracking target. Right away. I'm going to bring my other radar also up there. What are our orders, Commander? And we're going to turn our ships to true because I don't want my ships 
uh, having to continually pivot around each other. I just want them to uh, rotate on their axes but maintain this formation. There's another ship around there. Oh, it looks like we've got some rails. Uh, what's beef ship here? I think he's got rail ships. Oh, he's got rockets. Rocket sprinters. All right, so this is a plasma heavy game. My ships haven't even started firing yet. To a rail gun on that one. And I think we might actually cancel fire. We're ready whenever you are. And let's just move the early warning radar we'll get it done. around. Let's have a quick track. Roger that. Bring the ship up. Um, it's a bit confusing with all the mines that are being dropped everywhere, so I'm going to switch back to this view. But, um, yeah, that makes it certainly hard. Oh, it's a it's a mine ship. That's what this little tug is. Just dropping mines. Roger that. Aye, aye. There's already mines down here. So where is that sprinter? This little rocket ship. A couple hits here onto the Vigator. Now it's just charging directly for these mines. Uh, we're going to move around with our friend. And I reckon it activated a mine. I missed it. But either another barrage of rockets got it or are these mines got it. We hear you, command. Missiles inbound. Awaiting more orders, command tracking target. We'll be there before you know it. More than enough. Target confirmed. We hear you, command. Right away, commander. Let's put the bloodhound over there. Waiting for your orders. Bring command. the early warning around Roger over that. there. Ooh, I think we got a hit. Something's out there. Brace for impact. Incoming target confirmed. Bastards have a lock. Turning up the engines now. Target confirmed. Tracking target. All right, we're going to just turn those down. We're going to drop down because I don't want to engage these ones. And we're going to start to turn. Uh, one. At the ready, Commander. So one. Two, Understood. Standing by. Three and four. Engaging target. Order cool. received. Engaging now. The 
we're gonna this is the reason why you use the uh sometimes the true if i'd used um the relative it would have taken so long to turn around boom okay cool so we're getting hits And we want to maintain range, so uh, on one, go down, uh, drive forward, make sure that we keep in range here. I think that would have been a fair amount of damage. Uh, we're shielded from the rock from the top. Oh, uh, well, that may have some line of sight, but I think we're spreading out a good degree of damage here. If these are frigates, then we are playing pretty safe. Uh, what else we got down here? Number five, uh, bring your early warning into the middle. Uh, we also maybe want to use number six to target that track down there with the with the uh, bloodhound because this one's locked and this one's not locked. What what, what I want to do is um, have the best track possible. Oh, these are dual axfords. Oh damn! Oh damn! All right, we got two locks and we're also bringing our better track around so if the lock doesn't work um we'll be okay sorry i'm jumping around here um all right so switching splitting targets here was definitely a good idea uh we are getting the he and the hc on targets um, let's move sort of right now let's just drift right and down Um, and yeah, I think at this point I don't want to change. I don't want to change my fire. I want to keep both bits of fire on, keep them up, don't let them repair. Uh, what I might do is he. Oh no, it's firing he hc, firing he fights hc. Ah, it's all good. Okay, good, good reaction time. I think there beef really helped us. Um, okay, everyone fire at that ship. And let's maybe go up a bit. So as they go down, we're going to go up. Um, killed. Uh, everybody fire. Wow. Yeah, we are backed up by another fleet here from Peanut. Uh, he's got rockets and some. Or oh, ice coffee. Uh, so I'm going to go high. Make sure we get that. I don't want to... Um, Expose myself. What the hell's going on here? So two light cruisers. We've got some missiles coming in. Uh, Blacklight's fleet taken. Uh, some of his tugs have gone down. Uh, some of his... What are these tugs? Just a mix of everything in here. Beams. Oh, beams. 5161. Looks like a battleship. They've taken a fair amount of damage. Uh, six is tracked there. Mm. What's this? Beams, beams. How much? How much laser amp amples do I have left? Uh, not too much. Clear fire. Uh, question is do we keep going left or do we come right I think it's going to take too much time there so let's drift back this way I want uh, um, six to track on this one And I want to move them to a safer location on the other side of the battlefield. There he is. Our guys are getting ready to fire.
Boom. Alrighty. Let's see how this one goes. Oops. Sorry. Jumping over here. Alright, we're just peppering. I think that's almost dead. A few more salvos, I think, will deal with it. That's no, dead. Uh, signal, kill, one, clear fire. Um, now. This is where it gets interesting. I don't think we can hit that one, Commander. We're going to move up and away. Uh, five with early warning can focus upwards. Just see if there's anything else around. We hear you, command. All right, so drifting back around, staying out of range. Uh, we're going to start firing at uh, five one six one. Four, uh, four gun tugs, a plasma feeder, a jam tug. Alright, firing 5161. It's pretty slow moving, so uh, it's going to identify us. I don't want to get close to this at all. The enemy secured zone atlas. We're ready whenever you are. What are our orders, Commander? Right away. Send your traffic. Quiet. Command's on the line. Target confirmed. We have secured zone comet. We're also going to fire at this sprinter because uh, these other ships don't have anything else to do. Uh, whoops. Um, Engaging. You fire there. You fire there. So I, I screwed that up a little bit. The plasma didn't need to fire uh, at the sprinter. Dagger. I just need the T-30s firing at the sprinter. So we'll get a good cross section. Oh, damn, look at that. Okay, this is definitely a, a JD sort of play of driving my battleship in. Um, but those rocket frigates, uh, Corvettes from Beef, just so two rocket frigates and a point defense laser, just at close range, destroying. Holy, wow. Okay, we could probably edge a little bit closer. We'll be there before you know. Copy that. We hear you, command. Uh, we may be actually be able to get in now. We'll be there before you know. We are securing zone at That's already, Commander. Um, still got a good amount. We'll be firing off for most of the game. We're ready whenever you are. Copy that. Right away, Commander.
yeah, that's dead. Negative. That target is out of our range. Alright, that's the end of that game. Um, we end up capping all the points, but, you know, we do have a few, uh, you know, experienced players on this side, and maybe not so much on the other side, but uh, we certainly didn't intend to bring all of the same ones at the same time uh, in terms of uh, plasma and whatnot, but, geez, they, it puts out a lot of damage. Um, I thought those two coming around were frigates because that's what we had been told but turning out that they were heavy cruisers and likely task force oak um really put a little bit of uh you could just see the amount of firepower that was able to get get uh dished out there look i think everybody played pretty well here you know that's all you can do um sometimes it's good this was probably one of the first games i've had with there's no container missiles uh, and it's basically just a slugfest with beams. I thought the beams in the center brought out some of those ships really well. Um, and that beam battleship as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough of um, Starfleet Garnet. I know sometimes people like to do the um, commentary after, but sometimes also doing it whilst I'm in the moment also helps just understand what's going through my head a little bit more as opposed to me sitting there and trying to think back to what i was doing so would i recommend start a fleet garnet yeah i think it's pretty good it'll be interesting to see how it plays in a few other games so thanks for watching and take care